I'm getting a lot of questions about my settings in Quake, so I want to quickly go over a few topics to help you get sorted and be on your way to playing at your best. First, an introduction to those new to the channel. I've been playing Quake games since October 1998, so that's over 18 years now. It's a game I love so much, I find it hard to play anything else. And that's coming from someone who used to play a new game every week. Quake Champions is looking amazing, and as you can imagine, I'm so glad to see so many new faces. It's been too long since we had a big community. So welcome to Quake, I hope you stick with it, and I'll do what I can to help you understand and enjoy it. Now, this channel was built on mouse reviews. I think I've reviewed over 70. Mouse and pad are extremely important important to get your aim right. If you measure your hand like I have in the pictures, I recommend you find a mouse that is 60% of your measurements. The width depends on the grip width, which is where you place your fingers on the mouse. And the length isn't as important, but it helps for balance, and also grip. Stay away from laser sensors, they have issues. Go with the top optical sensors. You can find my top 40 mice on my website. If you want to watch my guide on choosing a gaming mouse, I'll leave the links in the description. For mouse pad, it's a really personal thing. I recommend cloth pads. At the moment, I'm using the Zowie GSR because it offers a bit more control, and I'm also using the Zowie FK2 mouse. In fact, all the Quake Champions gameplay that you've seen so far have been using those. For the DPI setting, you have a choice. Depending on the sensor, 400 and 800 are meant to be the most responsive, but aren't as smooth as 1600 and 3200. 1600 seems to be a happy medium, so I've been using that. And you can go into Windows settings and put the slider in the middle, so it's 6 out of 11 speed, which is where it functions best. For in-game sensitivity, my advice is to be able to do a comfortable 180 turn, which should prevent people from getting behind you in battles. So flick the mouse at a comfortable distance, and adjust your sensitivity until it becomes a 180. Then measure how far you have to move the mouse to do a full turn and that's your 360. Mine is usually between 28 and 30 centimeters. Again, it's up to you and how you want to play. Here's a look at my settings and configuration in Quake Champions. I play inverted mouse, but either is fine. My sensitivity at the moment is 0.18. My key configuration is a bit old school. I use the right mouse button to move forward, which actually frees up a finger. So that means I can change weapons and hit whatever movement key I want instantly. If you're using the same finger for forward and back, you need to rely on finger speed to change direction. When it comes to setting your configuration, it's something you get used to over months and no longer have to think about. You just do it, so make sure you set it up so that your fingers aren't hindered. For example, if you set your strafe right to D and you move backward to C, you couldn't strafe right and move backward at the same time because that's the same finger. Next, you want your weapons to be easy to reach, especially the main three of rocket, lightning, and rail. That's why they're set to W, E, and R. My jump key is A because it's easy to press, but my zoom is spacebar because it's a huge key. I don't want to be constantly pressing that in, and it's usually a bit loud, so that can disturb other people. If I do press a big key like that, I'd rather hold it in. The advantage of that is also the thumb isn't used for anything else, so I can zoom and still move like I normally do. Again, try to make sure your configuration is unhindered. If you start to use mine or change yours, give yourself two months to adjust. In video settings, I have a decent PC, so I mostly put things on Ultra. I was using 110 FOV, which is field of view, because I was trying to get it to look like Quake Live. But I think I'll change that to 115 or 120. 110 seems a bit close, and that might be why people think the gameplay is a bit slower than it actually is. We're still in the beta, so I'm still figuring things out as well. Now, to buy a champion, go to the top left, next to the logo. That's the shop. Last beta, we owned all the champions, but usually it'll have one option to buy them for 24 hours, and the other will be permanent. See how there are 500 Quake credits? Use that to buy one. I recommend that you try all champions before buying one though. Loot boxes are how you get the extras, and you see the red currency at the top? I'm on 75 at the moment. Selling epic pieces and getting duplicates is how that goes up. So jump into customization and see how it says press to sell? That's what you would click to get an extra 10. Then you have attachments and all that. I'll let you mess around with it, see what you think looks good. And the shaders are on the right. That's all you really need to get set up for now. I'm going to be making a lot more training and tutorial videos, so subscribe for those, along with the usual product reviews. And as always, like and share this video, and I'll catch you in the next.